Now let's talk about curl. Sometimes we need to send requests to another URL to get data, maybe another API. So how can we do that in PHP? There are many ways. But now we are going to talk about curl. Well, in order to work with curl in PHP, you need to know these four functions. The first one is curl init. The next one is curl set opt array. Then the next one is curl exec, curl exec. And the last one is curl close. Curl init will initialize the curl request and returns an object. So we need to store it in a variable curl and we need to pass this object to our other request. All of them needs this object both curl set opt array and exec and close. So let's pass them here before we forget. Then for curl set opt array, we need a second argument, which are our options. These options are the things we need to add to this curl request. So it would know what to do, where to send it, what would be the headers, what would be the post fields, and what would be the timeout. So let's see some of the most common options. Uh, the first one is the URL, curl URL, and we will pass the URL that we want to send it to, for example, HTTPS example.com. The next one would be the timeout, curl timeout. Okay, curl of timeout. The default is 30 seconds. The number we pass here is the number of seconds. We are willing to wait for the URL for that server to return a response to us. Otherwise, we will close the connection. For now, let's keep it as default. Another option would be custom request. What is our request type? For example, is it get, is it post, is it update, is it patch, is it delete? We can pass it here custom custom request curl of custom request this can be a string or a, the number code for this but for now we can pass simply get the last one is the header we can pass curl opt header okay for this we can pass an array of the headers that we want to add let's keep it as an empty array okay then curl exec will get this curl object with all the options that we have added and would we'll try to process this request and would we'll send this type of request to this URL with these headers. For now, these headers are empty and it would return the response we get from this request. So I need to store it in a variable response equals to curl exec curl and then I need to close the connection the only thing I need to pass is the curl object itself now let's echo the result to see what we'll get from example.com if we send a simple get request echo response cls here and php index.php as you can see we have got the HTML of the website is returned. As you can see, it has all the styles, everything. If I store it in a file index.html, it would be exactly a replica of the same website. Perfect. That's how easy it is to send a request to an API endpoint or a website to get their content. There are other options that I can add. For example, I could add the post field curl post fields and so many more options curl is a very simple but very powerful tool to have in our toolbox this is the end of this section now let's go to the next one